folks. My guest tonight is an award-winning musical artist, philanthropist, fashion icon, and movie star. Please welcome back to The Late Show, Lady Gaga. <laughs> It is. Uh, it's so lovely to have you back. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. This is. I'm. I'm so. I'm so honored to be here. I'm oh my gosh. To be here. It is our honor to have you here. I'm in New York, my home. Listen, you had it. You've had this extraordinary year, starting with uh, singing the national anthem at President Biden's inaugural. What was this what was this moment like for you? You know, it was one of the proudest moments I've ever had as a musician and a performer. I'd say uh, every performer has something that is meaningful to them about why they do what they do. For me, it's I love to make the public smile. And I had 2 minutes and 30 seconds to talk to the to the whole world, mm -hmm. and I thought it might be a good opportunity to sing to everybody. You know, not just to President Biden's uh, fans mm -hmm. and to the people that voted for him, but to the, but to the whole world, because it, the world has been on fire, and everybody deserves love. And what, what better way than the national anthem, something that we can hopefully agree on? Well, you know, the national anthem is a complicated tune. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. it was a complicated time. <laughs> yes. So I love you finding the flag at that moment that our flag was still there. <laughs> that was a very emotional moment. Thank How you. did you get through that moment yourself? I much imagine that particular moment is so resonant to that spot where you were standing where the insurrection had been. Well, I had the, the, the privilege of working with uh, Michael Bearden, who's my musical director. Mm -hmm. He's also the conductor for my show uh, in Las Vegas for our jazz show. He does both pop and jazz. He's brilliant. Mm -hmm. And uh, he did that arrangement with me uh, with the Marine Corps band. And uh, we decided to hold on uh, that our flag was still there. and. Uh, what is funny about this moment, in addition to it being emotional and, and, and powerful for me as a singer, was that, believe it or not, they actually moved the flag. <laughs> Didn't tell you? No. <laughs> so, you know, so I, I had gone out the day before to the Capitol, which was, you know, it was, the energy was, was, was powerful and it was mm -hmm. tense because there was such violence a week before. There was, there was such rage in this country that we saw with our own eyes in a way that I think we have not seen in a really long time. And I went out to my rehearsal because that's what I do and I'm a professional and I wanted to go to rehearsal. And I planned to find the flag and point at it as I sang this part. And what I didn't realize was that they were going to move the flag. And when I got out there, I started turning. And I was like, oh, girl, just keep turning and maybe... <laughs> It'll show up. <laughs> Turns out they still kept the flag up on that beautiful day, and I found it, and I'm so grateful. I had, I had, I had, uh, I had heard that this, again, this beautiful dress that you were wearing, that that was bulletproof, that it, it, it had um, fabric sewn into it. Yeah, there was a bulletproof vest sewn into the dress, and um, you know it was a it, it was a, a, a scary time in this country. And I care a lot about my family, 
And as a performer, I understand that I put myself in all types of dangerous situations uh, in order to do what I love. And so I did that for myself, but for my family as well, so that my, my mom and dad and my sister would feel confident. But that dress, you know, is a Scaparelli dress, an Italian designer, and everything about what I wore that day was inspired by the Italian and the French Revolution, because in a lot of ways, I felt like that day was a revolution for this country and a real opportunity for us to look, look, look past the resistance and look forward into a time when we can be kinder and we can be braver as a nation, as people. That's worth praying for. It is worth praying for. Now, uh, the last time we were together, I asked you how, with all the pressures of your work and all the things you take on, all the things you care about, how you relax at the end of the day, and you said a glass of wine and, uh, and a crying. A cry, yeah. A cry. Is, is this still how you do it? Uh, just with tequila now. Would you like, I have a little bar, would you like, would you like a little tequila? Like yeah, a little, for a, sure. A little. I wish we had... This is really full service over here. Wow. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> on the opening, on the opening see, night of this show six years ago, George sent me a bunch of tequila and I've been oh. very, very Thank grateful Thank you, George. To him. All right. Can I just, there you go, right there. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's a party now. There you go. Now, um, you've been, oh, you want a lime? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you. Can that always is very tasty. Can do some live now, editing around this part. You've been an outspoken activist uh, for for young people and for the LGBT community for for years. What do you do? Does that activism itself help ward off despair? Give you hope? You know, I don't know that it wards off despair as much as it reminds me that we all have a voice. And it's just how you use it. That's our weapon. That's the, that's the kindest weapon that we have if we choose to wield it kindly. Mm -hmm. For me, uh, I, I understand and I understood when I was young, around maybe 21 years old, that I had a platform where I could speak and talk to the world. And look, we all have access to social media. Uh, I have a lot of people that watch what I do when I decide to be in the public eye. Mm -hmm. And how I choose to use that space and time is something that I care about. So for me, speaking about LGBTQ plus rights is, is part of my destiny and it's a part of what I believe makes it possible for me to have this work matter. To me, realness and relationships and the, the reality of the world, if you don't look at it dead in the eye, uh, then all of this is an illusion and it, it makes that, the art matter less. But this is also why I love you so much. You've always put heart into your work. You always put what matters into your work. So you know, I'm happy to be here because like, I really respect him and I know that you do too. Really Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We have to take a little bit of a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back with more Lady Gaga, everybody. Yeah. 